some fabulous luxury bag dupes and a few outerwear dupes. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Shakura and I believe that when you feel good, you look good. So on this channel, I show you how to take fashion and use it as a tool to help you look and feel your best. So this is the fourth video in my designer dupe series. If you have not seen this one, this one, or this one, go check it out so you have more of an idea what this video is actually about. I'm not doing replicas, I'm doing dupes. I don't know that I will be able to get to all these dupes. Um, the, the video is but so long and it's a lot of editing, but I'm going to try to put in as many as I can. The first one I want to talk about is this Valentino shoulder bag. Um, you've seen this. It is very on trend right now, like a nod to the 2000s, the shoulder bag. They come in all these beautiful colors. I've seen it in green. I've seen it in pink. Of course, I've seen it in black, but the bag is expensive. Look at these bags from Rebecca Minkoff. I cannot remember the last time that I've looked at Rebecca Minkoff. Back in the day, I loved them, um, but they did need some um, sprucing up, right? They did need to elevate a little bit and kind of step into 2022. And I think with these bags, they really did that. They are so on trend. They're giving me the same type of vibe. And with Rebecca Minkoff, you know that there's quality. It comes in this beautiful pink color that is uh, gorgeous. It has purple. I know a lot of people love purple. And since we now know that wearing color during the fall is not shunned upon, we have some options. I, in particular, liked the pink, the green, and the black. <laughs> Um, I'm not getting all of them obviously, but those just kind of stood out to me. So I think these are really good alternative to the Valentino shoulder bag and I just, I just love them. So another brand that has kind of not come back, but has been more in the forefront recently is Miu Miu. This Miu Miu bag with the quilted leather, um, and the crescent shape, very on trend, is also expensive. I believe the bag is about 2,300, 2,200. I found something that looks very, very similar, right? So we know, I've said this in my other three dupe videos, that a lot of times when we're looking for dupes, they're not going to be exactly the same. But this gives me the same type of vibe. This bag is from Melly Bianco, and they actually have a lot of duped bags. Now, the difference with this bag is, is that it's not leather, but it is a decent quality. I know some people, me included, um, rather have a leather bag, but if you're looking for style and not necessarily leather, this is your option. And also, because it's not leather doesn't mean it's not quality. It means it's a different type of quality. I know a lot of people are vegan and are very conscious of, of leather and fur, and I think this this is a great alternative. Staying with Meli Bianco, they have another fantastic dupe to this Bottega bag. This Bottega bag is somewhere between four and five thousand dollars. It's adorable, it's beautiful, but that's also expensive. Look at this one that is so much cheaper. It looks so much like the Bottega bag and I feel like it's a really good, good option. They also have a good dupe to this bag at Anthropology. I mean, it looks so much similar. So these three are different price points, but are definitely a similar vibe bag. Okay, so let's stay with an Anthropology for a minute because they have some really good dupes there. Anthropology is a well-known uh, brand. They know they're known for their good quality items that they bring to the store so I can put my trust in these bags, right? So look at this bag. We all know what this is a dupe for, right? And this is like a hundred and something dollars as opposed to however much the Jody costs. A lot more than that, right? There was actually this bag a very similar bag to this that was 20 something dollars from Belk that I saw on TikTok. It is now sold out, but I will put it in the in the description box to see if it ever comes back. But the girl said that this was a fantastic dupe. It like I said, it was 20 something dollars, and yes, so that's not there anymore. And I couldn't go to Belk because we don't have a Belk in New York City. Really, you can find this dupe for this bag. In a lot of places this one just looks um this looks luscious i do not think this is 100 percent leather i'm pretty sure it's not if you are willing to spend a little more or for it to be real leather but not spend 
the you know buy it new i would look into a vintage i have a vintage bottega and i love it it fits everything it's very functional fashion file often has them i'm really thinking about actually getting this one from anthropology just to feel it and see how i like it because i do like the size and the notch in this bag if i'm being honest so yeah great great option okay so let's talk about a little more bottega this bottega bucket bag is really cute very on trend and it's twelve hundred and fifty dollars I found something from J. Crew that gives you the same type of vibe. This bucket bag um, is actually on sale right now as I'm filming this for 116 or something like that. Um, it comes in this beautiful beige and also in beautiful black. And it gives you the same type of vibe, right? It has, it's weaving with suede and the leather, the top handle and the crossbody. And though it is not exactly the same, we know that dupes are not going to be exactly the same. It does give you the same vibe. It's still good quality. J. Crew is known for their quality, especially now with their their new the, the new director they have going on now, who's very stylish. So if you like a good bucket bag and you don't want to spend that much, here's another option. Paulen has beautiful bucket bags too. Um, they don't look like the Bottega bag, but they are beautiful. I've spoken I've spoken about these bags before, the Paulen bucket bag, which is still on my wish list they have a new store in new york city that i have got to get to because the bucket bag is so beautiful anyway this is a good dupe go check that out if you are a fashion person you have heard of the row if you aren't um but you just like bags the row is a brand by mary kate and ashley olsen that is a very elevated basics type of uh of brand if you are into simple chic classic um flowy the row is your place however with that look comes a very high price tag they actually recently had a, a sample sale there are so many sample sales going on right now but i couldn't get to it and the lines and you know you know how i feel about that but they have some really beautiful pieces if that's your style so this bag from the row is this oversized kind of a big huge bucket bag i've been telling you guys for many seasons now that bucket bags or that sorry that oversized bags are coming back and they are here and I've been saying that for a while this one from the roll is thirteen hundred and twenty dollars it comes in this beautiful red and this beautiful beige color on Nima Marcus um, and yeah it's a beautiful very um, classic but also trendy type of bag but if you look at Banana Republic who has been killing it lately? Banana Republic is not some place that I usually go, um, maybe for work clothes, but not for like stylish clothes. Banana Republic has some stylish clothes now. Okay. So look at this bag from Banana Republic. It's still expensive, but it's it definitely cheaper. It's suede, it's $400, and it comes in two different colors. They also have this beautiful oversized bag in black and it's it's bigger it's much bigger but it's so cool if that's your like if that's your style like the row style and they also have it in this brown croc that is so sophisticated and luscious and beautiful and this is not a bag but i wanted to show you these boots um, if you've been following me for a while, you know I don't love the chunky boot trend. I don't like them to be too chunky. But these boots give me the, the right amount of chunk, right? I don't like it to be too much, but these boots do. This is just a testament to the evolution, in my opinion, of Banana Republic. It's giving you trendy, but it's also giving you grown. I'm a grown woman. I don't want trendy like a 20 year old. I want trendy, trendy like an old millennial. I picture wearing them with some straight leg jeans or some straight leather pants with a blazer very cute that's a sidetrack <laughs> let me get back to this so these bags are definitely dupes and to go even cheaper we have this bag from J crew it's real suede it's a bucket bag and it's like $230 something similar to that and it still gives you the same vibe and then to take it one step further you have this bag from Charles and Keith that I do not believe is leather but it does give you that same oversized 
bucket um, bag type of vibe, right? So I haven't got anything from Charles and Keith, but I've been looking at them for many years. I would love to know if you have any experience with them. Um, I am thinking about getting a bag so that I have the knowledge and I can tell you if it's good quality or not, but they are everywhere and they have some really cute styles of bag. Okay, sticking with Bottega, I didn't do this on purpose. I just found a lot of Bottega dupes. The next one I will try not to do as many, right? Um, but this is a bucket bag, not like the first one I showed you. This is a different style. This bag is $2,350. If you don't want to spend that money, check this bag out from another story. So this bag from another stories is another great dupe. It has decent quality leather, it has a top handle and the crossbody. And other stories is a great place to go, them and cause, to get a decent quality leather or a good quality leather bag for not as much money as a designer. So I have a lot of faith in and other stories. I think this bag is a very good dupe and I believe it's only $170. So if you follow me on my community page, you saw that I spoke about this limeade color that I've been seeing everywhere. In fact, it was also on the runways and I don't know how I missed it, but it is a very trendy color right now. So for those of you who love bright colors, especially during the fall and winter, um, this is for you. So look at this Bottega bag. We've seen it. It's metallic. It's this really beautiful color, this green color. They even have this the Bottega, this bag, this Jody in a similar lime green color. Look at this bag that's very similar from and other stories. This bag is real suede, leather. Uh, I think it's suede. This bag, either way, it's a real, it's real, right? It is $99. It also came in this orange, but that is sold out. But this is a beautiful color bag. Another stories actually had this beautiful um, um, sweater that was really nice with it. They also have um, this green dress that doesn't go with it like the exact color but imagine wearing this green sweater dress this bag and um, these gold boots that I was telling you guys about in my last video very cute it gives you the same vibe as the little Bottega Jody it is not an exact copy it's similar and it's a very good dupe okay so love it or hate it and I've spoke about this before these little under the shoulder bags are everywhere this bag from Celine and Celine has a few different options of these little bags this one in particular is two thousand three hundred dollars Celine is a beautiful brand one of my favorite brands if I'm being honest and yes I have no doubt that this is a beautiful uh, quality bag but if you are not interested in spending that much money I understand sis look at this bag from mango it used to come in silver but that is just completely sold out which is so annoying because it would have gone good with my silver um, shoes that I got from Mangley those fit great I got my size I got a well I got a, a seven and a half because Mango doesn't have seven but a seven and a half fit fine um, and they're fabulous I can't wait to wear them with like a pink suit I'll show you guys later but I wanted to tell you that if you're interested in getting them they are good they're not real leather but I do really like them so this bag from Mango is $50 it comes in this caramel color as well as this as um, black and it's very similar to the Celine and it's giving me a lot of other vibes right it's giving me a Prada a Clio bag vibe it's just very trendy right now and if you are somebody who likes the trend but doesn't want to spend that kind of money on it there are so many options for example this YSL bag that we have seen a lot of people have is two thousand two hundred and thirty dollars or fifty something like that but it's it's a it's a beautiful bag YSL another one of my favorites look at this one from Charles and Keith it's giving you the same vibe. And this one is $76. It's a very similar shape. It has a gold detail in the front. It's giving you a very, very similar vibe and it's gorgeous. So let's talk about By Far. By Far is a not an overly expensive brand like a Dior or YSL, but they are pricey, right? And this amber bag from By Far is about five four or $500. But look at this bag from Oakenfort. This bag is 50 or $60. It's almost the same bag, right? It's a very, very good dupe. Oakenfort is another one of those websites, those brands, those stores who are giving you 
elevated basics. I know we're all tired of that that <laughs> that term elevated basic, but it's kind of giving you that vibe. You know what I mean? Chic, relaxed, um, not overly done type of vibe. And this bag is almost the same exact dupe. $58 and $500. So I have spoken about this brand many times. It is a beautiful brand, great quality. I believe one of the Royals wears this. I want to say Kate, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure one of the Royals wears these brands of bags. I believe this one is called the Canada no, the Montreal. This one is called the Montreal, and I've spoken about this before. This bag, the smallest one, is about $400, and though I know that's still a lot to some people, but you just want the look, again, look at this one from Charles and Keith. It's like very, very similar. This comes in black, it comes in white, and it's $99. So love it or hate it, Sherling bags are here. And it's very, it's looking like a very cozy fall winter. I put this on um, my community page and the response was mixed, I, which I assume some people love it, some people hate it. I can see both sides. I can see why somebody would hate it. First of all, keeping it clean might would be a, a very hard thing to do. And so Second of all, how does it wear? Does it wear like well after a while? Anyway, this one is from Bottega and we know Bottega with the Bottega name comes Bottega pricing. But by now you guys have all seen the Coach Sherling tabby. We have been tabbied to death. I'm, I cannot be the only one feeling this way. I don't hate the bag. In fact, I have the bag if you've seen my video. Death. We got the Sherling tabby. We have the leather tabby. We have the colorful tabby. We have the small tabby. We have the tabby that doesn't have any puff. We have been tabbied to death. <laughs> Let me know if you are tabbied out. I don't know if I'm tabbied out. Well, maybe I am, I don't know. I know that this is another option, right? And I do think that it's a very pretty bag. However, this joker is $700, child. Since when is Coach $700 for the tabby? I believe my tabby, which is a 26, was 500 and something dollars. Why on earth would this be $700? I can't call it, but it is an option. In fact, Coach has a lot of different Sherling options if you're looking for that cozy bag feel. They have the Madison, they have a tote. So if you are into that look, there's options. Pauline, which I spoke about also on this channel, one of my favorite contemporary bag brands, also had a Sherling option. What's interesting about this is that it is $350. Why would Coach's be $700 and this be $350? I don't know. You guys, I would love to hear your, your thoughts about that. But this one from Poland is also cute if you like this kind of option. This one actually from Poland has a, a leather version, which I actually like more, which I'm thinking about getting. I want this one and the bucket bag I was telling you guys about. Um, but yeah, go check that out. It's a little more affordable and just another option. Wow, there are so many bags I can show you that I might have to put into another video. But I did want to show you two pieces of outerwear before they sell out. I asked on my community page if I should do outerwear or bags and the vote was to do bags. Um, and I might do another outerwear video because it was very close. It was a very close race, if you will. But I wanted to show you these two things. If you are somebody that likes the row, you're gonna like Totem, right? It's a little different, but the brand, but the brand identity is still there. Very similar, right? So if you are on TikTok at all, um, and you've seen the girlies who have the really simple laid back type of what they call classic style, which is an interesting thing to say. I'll talk about that in another video. Um, you've seen this coat scarf jacket situation from Totem. This coat jacket scarf situation is $970. And I've seen somebody review it and said that they were sending it back because not only is it not lined, the sleeves were big and they didn't think that it would keep them warm right? I can't speak to that. I've never owned this. I'm just going off of what somebody else says. But as I was scrolling through the comments, I found that somebody said they got a really good dupe. And of course, I went to go look at the dupe. Look at this one from eBay. This one from eBay looks 
almost exactly like the totem one right it is i believe 200 dollars around that um and people say that they absolutely love it now again if you like this but are afraid of the sleeves i would definitely layer underneath but you just want the look that's a really good option if this is of course of course if this is your style but i just wanted to show this to you and the other thing I wanted to do is another totem dupe. Um, I've showed you this one from Mango in uh, about two or three videos ago, but that is sold out and it comes in and out of stock. I wanted to show you guys this one from Bloomingdale's. It's giving you the same type of vibe. It's a little longer than the one from Mango. I have the one from Mango um, and I like it, but I also kind of wish that it covered more of my hips because <laughs> it's going to get cold and I like everything to be um, covered, but it's a very close dupe to the totem one. And I just wanted to show you guys just in case you were looking for the manga one, but it was sold out. And one more thing I wanted to show you guys. On the Zara website, you can now get directly or go directly to Massimo Duty. Massimo Duty is not huge in the States. We used to have one in New York. I don't think we have one anymore, but it's big overseas. The last one I went shopping at was in Italy, I believe, Rome or something. But it's a beautiful store. I believe it was Rome. It's a beautiful store. Um, it's the sister company of Zara. It's a little more expensive, but also a better quality in my opinion. So they have some really good things. If you are not familiar with Massimo Duty, go check them out. I'm actually looking, or I was looking for like a wool cap um, or a cashmere cap. I saw this cashmere cap on Sheer Lux. Anybody else watch Sheer Lux? It's a like digital magazine from overseas. Anyway, I saw it on Sheer Lux and I kind of wanted a nice cashmere cap. And I went to Zara to see if they have any caps that were cheaper. I knew they wouldn't be, um, I knew they wouldn't be cashmere, but I found Massimo Duty and they have some wool ones so go check that out i'm trying to give you everything here anyway guys that's the dupes for bags that's a few cult uh, outerwear dupes and that is a little bit of fashion news as always i appreciate you stopping by and liking and commenting i appreciate every single one of you if you like the video like comment subscribe share the video and i will see you in my next video